Hello and welcome to session four of UVM Basics here on Verification Academy, Connecting Components. I'm Tom Fitzpatrick, Strategic Verification Architect here at Siemens EDA. And in this session, we're going to focus on how to instantiate and connect together verification components and also explain a bit more about the structure of an individual component. So we saw in the previous session that a typical grouping of components, a sequencer, a driver, and a monitor are put together in what we refer to as a UVM agent. Now, there are other types of components, and this particular arrangement isn't necessarily fixed for every component, but we are going to use this as an example of how to actually build and connect components in UVM. So if we look at the UVM class hierarchy, we start with UVM object, which we've talked about before. UVM report object is extended from UVM object, and it includes infrastructure, which allows us to report messages out of UVM. And we'll talk about that in the last session of this course. UVM component extends from UVM report object, and that is the base component type that we use. There are a number of specific components that are extended from UVM component that allow us to communicate what role this particular component is intended to play in our setup, whether it's a UVM environment, a UVM test, an agent. We already showed UVM driver. So we won't go into all of these necessarily right now, but the idea is to use these components to communicate what you intend that particular component to do. Some of these have some distinguishing features in them. Some of them are just shells that extend from UVM component to communicate that intent to you, but they're still useful. We create a component extended from UVM agent. We'll call it my agent. And Similar to what we showed in the previous session, we use the UVM component utils macro to register the my agent type with the UVM infrastructure. We'll talk more about that in a coming session. Then we have to declare the pointers to the subcomponents, in this case, a sequencer, a driver, and a monitor. We use the underscore H handle notation for instances of these particular types. And then inside of the agent, we have the constructor, which every component in UVM uses a string name argument and a UVM component parent argument and simply call super.new. And then we have additional methods, build phase and connect phase. And these are the ones that we use to actually instantiate subcomponents in build phase and connect them in the connect phase. So in the build phase, rather than construct directly the sequencer driver and monitor, we use what we call factory methods. So don't worry too much about all the double colons. Just understand that you specify the type of the object you want to create, in this case, my sequencer in the first line, colon, colon, type ID, colon, colon, create. That is a way of calling the factory method to create an instance of the my sequencer type. And the arguments are the same arguments as the constructor. So you provide a string for the instance name, and this is the parent. These components are going to be built as children of the my agent component. And we use the same thing, my driver, type ID, colon, colon, create, and my monitor, type ID, colon, colon, create. So again, for every component that we create, we have an instance name and the parent. That allows us to build a hierarchical name for every instance of every component in the system. The reason that we use the factory methods is it allows the type of object that's actually created to be overridden in the tests. And we'll talk more about this in a future session. When it comes to connecting the components together, we use the connect phase for doing that. So the connect method connects together these child components by calling the connect method in the port and export of the components we want to actually connect. So my driver has something called a sequence item port, and my sequencer has something called a sequence item export, and the connect method hooks those two things together. So you can think of this as kind of a fancy version of ports in Verilog and VHDL, but the effect is the same. So now we have the driver connected to the sequencer, and they will communicate through the sequence item port. Then we have the phase method. So in any particular component, in this case, my component extending from UVM component, we have the constructor, which we've talked about. Then there is the build phase method, which we just saw. So build phase is called top down. So as every component gets created, its build phase gets called. And the build phase is used to create subcomponents. And then once those are created in build phase, then their build phase methods are called. So we call build phase in a top down manner. Then we have the connect phase where we connect together the ports and exports of all of these components. This is called in a bottom up fashion. Then we have a function called start of simulation, which allows us to do some extra stuff before simulation starts, things like opening files or printing out the topology of what you have in your environment, things like that. 
And then lastly, we have run phase. Now, run phase is the only task that we have in UVM. There are subphases of run phase. We're not going to get into those in the basics class here. So just think of run phase as the only task that you need to worry about. And this allows us to actually have time consuming things happen in the test in each component. And then lastly, we have the report phase. So at the end of run phase, we can actually go and gather information about the system and report it out so that you can see actually what happened. So in any UVM component, you have some basic things in it that every component is going to have. So you extend from UVM component or one of the other UVM component extensions. You register with the factory using the component utils macro. And then you have potentially some external interfaces. You have some internal component handles that you have to create. And then you have the standard phase methods. So there's the constructor. There's the build phase where you instantiate components. The connect phase where you actually connect the components together. Start of simulation allows you to double check things before or open files or whatever before you actually start your simulation. Run phase is kind of the guts of the simulation. And then at the end of run phase, you have check phase and report phase. And there's actually another one called extract phase. So it's actually extract, check, and report. And you can use those to go around and gather information about what happened, the current state of your system, whether FIFOs are empty or whatever, check results, and then report out what happened. So just to summarize, again, we have in our environment, which is itself a UVM component, we have other kinds of components. The agent is a typical grouping of sequencer, driver, and monitor, which are other types of components. And in the build phase, we instantiate child components. In the connect phase, we connect them. And then in run phase, that's where everything interesting happens in the test. And you can also have multiple instances of these agents. So agents typically are protocol specific, and you have one agent for each interface to your dot. So in this session, we've seen how to instantiate and connect components in UVM. We showed a UVM agent and how to connect drivers and sequencers. The same mechanisms will apply to other types of UVM components that we'll see in future sessions.